from a party on Peckham right to London's hottest urban beach, check out the residents' pick of the best things to do in London over the Spring Bank holiday weekend from 26 to 28. May lead image, Feria de Londres, South Bank 1 2001, a space odyssey at Picture House Central 21 to 28 May in celebration of the iconic film's 50th anniversary, Picture House Central is showing 2001, a space odyssey from 70 mm. With 2001, A Space Odyssey, director Stanley Kubrick redefined the limits of filmmaking and cemented his legacy as one of the most revolutionary and influential film directors of all time. Originally released in 70mm Cinerama Rojo format on 3 April 1968, the film ignited the imaginations of critics and audiences alike. For the first time since the original release, the 70mm print was struck from new printing elements made from the original camera negative, no digital tricks, remastered effects or revisionist edits. Showing exclusively at Picture House Central from 21 to 28 May. Piccadilly W1D7DH, PictureHouses.com to the Engine Room X Lululemon Indoor Rowing Taster Classes 17 to 31 May The Engine Room, London's new, fully integrated rowing boutique and personal training studio, is hosting taster classes in partnership with Lululemon. Rowing delivers a full-body workout, with research by British Rowing showing that it utilizes 85% of the body's muscles across nine major muscle groups, running only targets five major muscle groups. Prior to the full studio opening, the Engine Room and Lululemon are running taster classes at Lululemon's Marylebone High Street store from 17 to 31 May, with the Engine Room founder Chris Heron and British rower and Olympic gold medalist, Matthew Tarrant. The classes will feature an introductory, Rowing 101, class as well as a preview of the new class formats, Breathe and Beats. Classes are fully interactive, with results shown on a large screen and Danita body composition scans. 74 to 75 Marylebone High Street W1 U5 Junior to book see facebook.com slash events 3 RHS Chelsea Flower Show 22 to 26 May the unsurpassable Chelsea Flower Show returns with more than 100 thrilling floral displays. The Great Pavilion, a 12,000 square feet marchy big enough to park 500 London buses, will again be the jewel in the Chelsea Flower Show crown, featuring the very best from the world's finest nurseries, growers and florists. This year there will also be health and well-being gardens, showing how plants and green spaces can improve lives, space to grow gardens with ideas for smaller, urban gardens, and the Chelsea Late event on Friday night, giving even more visitors chance to see the show with bands, an artisan food market and wandering artists. London Gate, Royal Hospital Road, Royal Hospital Chelsea SW34SR, RHS.org.UK4 Balabaya Nights, Southwark Friday the 25th of May Balabaya has brought back its infamous Balabaya Nights, transforming the old Union Arches in Southwark Tel Aviv style with a late night spring menu, flowing cocktails and extending opening hours so you can munch and boogie till 4am. DJs Jesse Rivka and Fake Tan will be spinning the tunes, Think Sister Sledge, Piano Chords and Hallelujah Hands in the Air. Joint head chef Ron Tibby and the lovely team on the terrace under the arches as they add Israeli flavor to Bankside with good vibes and delicious food. Booking encouraged. Arch 25, Old Union Yard Arches, 229 Union Street SE 1 OLR, Balabaya.co.uk 5 Feria de Londres, South Bank 25 to 27 May Feria de Londres brings the vitality of a traditional Andalusian feria to the Bernie Spain Gardens on the South Bank with a vibrant celebration of Spanish culture and cuisine, inspired feast on croquetas, iberico ham, tortillas, pimientos de padron and churros, as well as special tastings from Tio Pepe, Spain's favorite fino producer, who will be hosting a series of Sherry Master Classes is free. Bernie Spain Gardens, South Bank SE 19PH, Feria de Londres.com Feria de Londres brings the vitality of a traditional Andalusian feria to the Bernie Spain Gardens in celebration of the iconic film's 50th anniversary. Picture House Central is showing 2001, a space odyssey from 70mm The Duchess of Cambridge at the RHS Chelsea. Missing is an immersive installation of 18 new paintings, a three-part hand-finished print edition, and a three-part bee sculpture edition with graffiti prints and a robotic penguin. 
There will also be a fully immersive installation inspired by the woods, with trees, sounds, smells and an important call to action, as well as a three-part t-shirt launch with premium artwear brand CMMNTY, so you can wear your art on your sleeve. Louis Messiah explores the concept of humans as animals, painting anthropomorphized creatures adorned with sentiment, and has recently started to raise awareness of endangered creatures. Each of his works focusing on endangered animals in specific regions across the globe, from the South African penguin to the threatened British bumblebee. Houston Road, King's Cross and W12BA, CryptGallery.org 7 MCM London Comic Con, XL London 25-27 May MCM Comic Con, the UK's largest organizer of pop culture events is gearing up for the return of its flagship London show, with bigger guests, exclusive products and more explosive and interactive content. Celebrating the latest and greatest in geeky goodness for fans, MCM London Comic Con will bring an action-packed weekend of pop culture to Excel London, featuring everything from comics, movies, games and sci-fi to cosplay, anime, steampunk and online video. The huge lineup will include Letitia Wright, who has recently made her name as Shuri in Black Panther and Avengers, Infinity War, Deadpool's Brianna Hildebrand and Tom Ellis from Lucifer. Tickets from £17. MomComicCon.com 8 Tokyo Bike X Ace London Cycleography Rides Shoreditch the 26th of May Ace Hotel London Shoreditch's annual summer rides in collaboration with Tokyo Bike are back for a 15 to 20 mile ride along East London's waterways. The ride will allow you to explore the urban environment via cycle paths, towpaths, back roads and green spaces. The ride will begin and end at Ace Hotel London Shoreditch and weave a path towards the Thames via Regent's Canal, the River Lee and Limehouse Cup, passing a number of picturesque parks and places of historic interest. The pace will be leisurely and relaxed. You'll have the option of using a Tokyo bike for the duration of the ride or your own, and a mechanic will accompany the ride for any basic maintenance needs. 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Departing from Bulldog Edition at Ace Hotel London Shoreditch, £25 including a morning coffee and light packed lunch. To book see eventbrite.co.uk 9 Bank Holiday Beach Party at Fulham Beach Club 26-27 May London's only Thameside Beach is hosting a bank holiday beach party by the Thames with a barbecue on the beach and live entertainment from a world-renowned DJ. There'll be yoga on the Saturday, and you can enjoy a complimentary frozen margarita before 2 p.m. on both days. The Chic Beach Club Paradise has two bespoke bars serving up cocktails, beer and bottomless brunch, cabanas, debeds, Jimmy Garcia's pop-up restaurant and games like Pudding Pong, Think Beer Pong Meets Golf, and Shuffleboard, open 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturday and 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Sunday. Entry 10 pounds. Albert Wharf, Fulham SW62TY, NeverlandLondon.com 10 Street League Skateboarding Pro Open, Stratford 26-27 May The world's most prestigious skateboarding competition will make its London debut at the Copper Box Arena, Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park on 26-27 May, as SLS and World Skate prepare street skateboarding for its inaugural appearance in the Olympic Games at Tokyo 2020. Athletes will battle it out in a custom-built concrete skate plaza, designed to inspire innovative tricks and take skateboarding to new heights. The competition features an exciting easy-to-follow format, anchored by instant scoring, and sees the expansion of the women's division with an additional women's qualifier event taking place on Saturday the 26th of May to help set the stage for the new SLS Women's World Championship in October. Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park, Stratford E23HB, StreetLeague.com Cycle London's Waterways with Tokyo Bike X Ace London Cycleography Ride S Enjoy the Street League Skateboarding Pro Open in Stratford MCM London Comic Con Comes to Excel London, Photo Simon King, See Missing by Louis Messiah at the Crypt Gallery 11 The London Cheese Project, Hoxton 26-28 May London Cheese Project returns to Hoxton with a huge celebration of all things cheese. Over 30 British cheesemakers and mongers, artisan producers and street food traders will set up camp in the beautiful grounds of the Geoffrey Museum, hosting free talks, demos and plentiful tastings across the bank holiday weekend. Tuck into limited edition cheeses and one-off street food specials, developed especially for the festival, like Paxton. 
You can also take a series of ticketed master classes on topics such as cheese and beer matching and creating the perfect cheese board. Tickets £5. 10.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. till 5 p.m. Sunday. Geoffrey Museum, 136 Kingsland Road E280A, FetchiesProject.com 12 Tom's Kitchen Bottomless Bank Holiday Brunch 26 to 28 May Enjoy a hearty brunch and unlimited Prosecco at the recently relaunched Tom's Kitchen Chelsea. Designed by the renowned chef Tom Akins, the menu includes savory classics such as Eggs Royale, Eggs Benedict and Tom's Breakfast Grill as well as some more unusual options like Tom's Shock Soak Eggs with Cacal Bean Eggs, Tomato and Aubergine and a decadent brioche French toast with caramelized apples and cinnamon cream. Available from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can also enjoy an unlimited supply of Prosecco for just £15 pp extra when dining from the brunch menu. 27, Kale Street, Chelsea SW33QP, Tomskitchen.co.uk 13 Pile Brixton's Rooftop Bottomless Brunch The 27th of May Pow is bringing an incredible bottomless brunch to its famous two-tier roof terrace in celebration of all things disco. As well as incredible DJ sets, the chance to soak up the sun and Pow's very own disco rum punch, Goneburger will be serving up their amazing burgers, including the Reckless, stacked with jerk chicken and pineapple, plus homemade brownies with ice cream. Continue the celebrations right through to midnight and, between the boogieing, showcase your talents with disco karaoke, chill out on the rooftop stack chairs and play games, 12 p.m. midnight. Bottomless brunch from £30 for a two-hour slot, with two hours of bottomless, disco rum and frozen G. If you can't make brunch, grab a £10 ticket for an evening of discoing across the POW club and rooftop from 5 p.m. midnight. 467 to 469 Brixton Road SW98HH, POW-London.com 14 Big Chill Brick Lane, Presents, The Girls, the 27th of May Big Chill Brick Lane has bank holiday Sunday fun day covered with, The Girls, a late night fiesta championing female DJs with Fuzzy Fresh, Sash Dixon and Abs hitting the decks for a 10 hour party. Kicking off at 3 p.m., the trio will be playing a sublime amalgamation of genres from disco to hip-hop and Afrobeat to house, plus everything in between, 3 p.m. to 1 a.m. Free entry. Should you find your Delph in need of some RNR on Monday, there will be Bloody Marys available from 3 p.m. as well as Henry W.P. gently spinning some head-soothing soul and funk tunes. Big Chill Brick Lane, Dre Walk U16QL, BigChillBar.com 15 Jam on the Rye, Peckham the 28th of May Curb presents Jam on the Rye on Bank Holiday Monday, a brand new one-day celebration of sound system culture and the best of London street food on Peckham Rye. Expect a mix of reggae, Afrobeat and new wave jazz across three stages. The main stage will be presented by Reggae Roast and headlined by David Rodigan, Horace Andy, Live, and Mungo's Hi-Fi. The second stage will be hosted by South London promoters Wyrm Food, and the third will play host to KERB's Second Curb Talks, a panel discussion on London's sound system culture and local talent. The street food lineup will include Bretto's White Men Can't Jerk and Only Jerkin, and like all Curb events, this one's for everyone from baby boomers to boomboxers. 11.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Tickets from £20. Strakers Road SC 153UA, kirkfood.com slash jam on recurb presents jam on the rye on Peckham Rye this bank holiday Monday at London Cheese Project returns to Hoxton this bank holiday weekend Bob Brixton is hosting a disco-themed rooftop bottomless brunch 16 all points equal, Victoria Park the 28th of May all points equal is a day of free activities to celebrate the 100 years of votes for some women and 90 years of equal voting rights for women and men. Taking place in Victoria Park, the end destination of Sylvia Pankhurst's 1913 and 1914 processions, there will be a family-friendly banner-making workshops and football workshops, children's theatre, aerial circus performance workshops, outdoor screenings of Moana, 12 noon, Suffragette, 3.30 p.m., and Maiden Dagenham, 7 p.m., a fully immersive participatory performance Suffragette Rally with the Museum of London, 3 p.m., live music with Global Local from midday to 9.30 p.m. featuring Hackney Colliery Band and all-female brass band Breakout Brass, street food market curated by Sourced Market, pop-up bars, and more. The event is part of All Points East in the Neighborhood, a four-day festival of free activities running 28-31 May. 
Victoria Park E3, All Points East, Festiveville.com 17 Early Man Family Fun Day, Museum of London 28 May The Museum of London is heading back to the Stone Age on Bank Holiday Monday with free screenings of Ardman's latest film, Early Man, plus a range of drop-in family-friendly activities. Journey back to the dawn of time, when prehistoric creatures roamed the earth and courageous caveman hero, Doug, voiced by Eddie Redmayne, and tribe unite against the mighty Lord Newt, Tom Hiddleston, and his Bronze Age city to save their home. Film screenings take place at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Kids can also learn the art of flint making using soap, hold real prehistoric artifacts, and much more in drop-in activities. Tickets are free but should be booked in advance from Wednesday the 23rd of May. Pre-register your interest here. 150 London Wall EC 2I5HN, Museum of London.org.uk 18 Pizza Brunch at Radici the 28th of May. Francesco Mazze's Trattoria Radici is serving up a pizza brunch this bank holiday Monday, with classic Italian dishes alongside some fun twists on London favourites. Feast on must-try dishes like the brunch pinza for two to share, topped with smoked salmon and cream cheese, egg and avocado, plus prosciutto and mushroom. Further brunch dishes, inspired by the warm climate and wonderful ingredients of Francesco's Calabrian home region, include eggs calabresi with papa pomodoro, burrata and anchovy, plus cannellini bean stew with poached eggs and sausage. Two courses 15 pounds, three courses 20 pounds. Add bottomless Prosecco for £15 over 2 hours. Available from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. 30 Almeida Street, Islington N11 AD, Radici.UK 19 More yoga workshops at All Points East 28 to 31 May All Points East in the neighborhood is a fab community festival taking place in Victoria Park this bank holiday and half-term week. This year, More Yoga will be treating festival goers to a series of free open air yoga classes throughout the event with special sessions and workshops daily from 12 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Classes include everything from the classic vinyasa flow and ashtanga practices to the quirkier HIIT hop yoga and funky festival flow. For parents who are keen to find a bit of zen in the madness, there will also be daily kids yoga and family yoga classes. On the 28th of May, home. moreyoga.co.uk 20 The Bloom Rooms at D. Sponsored by Moe. The curved wooden structures have been decorated with fresh flowers and winding ivy to resemble an English garden in full bloom. No need for reserved tables and long bar queues, just sit back, relax and treat yourselves to a glass of champagne under a beautiful floral canapé. Available for booking this bank holiday weekend. Find them at Coke Darjong, South Place Hotel's Secret Garden and Plateau. Fetish and London.com Enjoy pizza brunch at Radici and Islington More Yoga will be hosting free yoga classes during All Points East Discover D. Step back to the 1870s with legendary psychic Agnes Guppy, famously known for her levitations and transportations during seances, as she attempts to resolve unfinished business and contact the afterlife in this spine-tingling experience, asking, is anybody there? Witness firsthand if Guppy's extraordinary psychic abilities are real during a live seance and be prepared for a hair-raising experience, as strange goings-on begin to take place in the psychic parlor. Will you leave with your soul intact? Adults 30 pounds, kids 24 pounds on the door. Book in advance online to save up to 30%. Westminster Bridge Road SE17 Petabytes, ThatUngeons.com 22 Undercover, a secret history of cross-dressers exhibition, Soho now until the 3rd of June drawn from the extensive personal archives of filmmaker and photography collector Sebastian Lifshitz. This exhibition of amateur found photographs from Europe and the US explores gender non-conformity and cross-dressing. Dating from 1880 onwards, the photos are mostly of unnamed and unknown figures and as such offer an unauthorized view into the worlds of individuals and groups choosing to defy gender conventions. Lifshots' initial collecting impulse was a fascination with the vernacular documentation of cross-dressing, his criteria to accumulate photographs, which showed men dressing as women and vice versa. 
Undercover, a secret history of cross-dressers celebrates the collective inventiveness and liberation that the seemingly simple act of dressing differently provides. 16 to 18 Ramley Street W 7 LW The Photographer's Gallery .org .uk 23 Deluge A solo show by Bobby Russin at Bodot Lee Gallery the 25th of May to the 23rd of June Bobby Russin's paintings speak to the turbulent yet contemplative and solitary place in all of us Just as gravity compels the tides so the works exhibited in Deluge capture the outer forces provoking inner turmoils Overwhelmed, figures stand subjected to the storm, desperately trying to keep their heads above water. The comforts that the inhabitants of Russin's paintings had been clinging to have been discarded, revealing a conflict between a sense of insecurity and independence. Painted during the winter months, Russin's surroundings become metaphorical in this series and her previous symbols of hostility are replaced with a sense of defenselessness, of being washed away. Russin's work speaks to us on an emotional level, a whisper rather than a cry. It gives us time to stand still, time to reflect on what it means to be human. 222 Rye Lane, Peckham SE 154 NL, bo-dashley.co.uk 24 Linda Kitson, iPad drawings at the City Centre Gallery until the 11th of August Best known for her work as an official war artist during the Falklands conflict, Linda Kitson has created a vivid collection of iPad drawings capturing the Square Miles dynamic skyline as part of the London Festival of Architecture, the exhibition captures the dramatic change the city is undergoing, exploring the development of key sites across the eastern city cluster including Bishopsgate, Leadenhall, Liverpool Street, Lime Street, St. Mary Axe and Broadgate. Up to 50 works set to be displayed in full Technicolor, with 18 core works backlit in bespoke light boxes alongside an additional 20 to 30 preparatory works displayed alongside in print form. eBay Single Street EC2V5AR, The City Centre, London 25 The Great British Seaside at National Maritime Museum, Greenwich Now until 30 September On 23 March The National Maritime Museum opens a major photography exhibition celebrating the nation's love affair with the seaside. Featuring over 100 works by four of Britain's most celebrated photographers, Martin Parr, Tony Ray Jones, David Hearn and Simon Roberts, the Great British Seaside, photography from the 1960s to the present, explores our changing relationship with the seaside over the last six decades. The Great British Seaside documents a quintessentially British experience. It covers the country's beaches from Brighton to Blackpool and captures the traditions, customs and eccentricities associated with them. Through the work of some of Britain's most celebrated photographers, the exhibition will showcase photography from their archive collections, as well as negative contact sheets and footage. Park Row, Greenwich SE 10 rmgcouk see Linda Kitson's iPad drawings at the City Centre Gallery Dear You Try Seance at the London Dungeons. The Great British Seaside, photography from the 1960s to the present at National Maritime Museum, photo, Blackpool Promenade, Lancashire, 2008, registered sign Simon Roberts, courtesy Flowers Gallery London, read more Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest.